afternoon guys, hope you're all well, hope you're all blessed. Thanks for tuning in to Carson TV with me, Darren. Well guys, some great news here, Peter Murrow, Nicholas Sturgeon's husband has been charged with embezzlement at Falkirk Sheriff Court, eh, Falkirk Police Station, sorry. Um, I'm just back from Falkirk Police Station and as I say, one of the officers at the desk told me he is in police custody at Falkirk Police Station, but he can't tell me any more. So I've got somebody up there waiting to try and get a snap of him, um, but there's a big black Range Rover and stuff like that in the car park at the back. Um, but as I say, yeah, this is the SMP in um, Nicholas Sturgeon's husband, Falkirk Police Station. But it just shows you people. Doesn't matter how big you are, how clever you are, or how powerful you are. If you think that you can break the law and get away with it, it's not going to happen. Falkirk is very corrupt. And you've got to look at Eric Joyce, Michael Matheson, the SMPs for um, Falkirk, and there's constabularies that are in Falkirk. Uh, Michael Matheson is basically at the Boatman High Street, um, where he sold the Camden Square shopping centre for a million pound, but actually cost 15 million pound to build. But, as I say, and now they're flattening it. And they're giving contracts out to known criminals, demolition companies, stuff like that. It's a shambles. And, um, I done a video yesterday with Luke Mitchell on how he got denied his parole um, for apparently a danger against females. I didn't understand that at all, how they can turn and say that he's a danger when there's no been any, any incident throughout the 20 years of him serving in a prison system where he's been rude, negative, in on art towards female staff. If anything, the female staff do like look and believe he is innocent and, and it's been proven widely. People keep commenting on my TikTok channel ask me about this, ask me about that. No, I've been here for the start, for the first protest, then second protest, then I went to another one. And as I say, way back in 2003, um, when Luke got first arrested for this, I was in Pullman. Then, as I say, when Luke came in in 2005, I was in Pullman. And, um, so, I do know quite a lot about the Luke's case and um, I've seen bits of evidence, bits of other stuff that I cannot say um, and believe me, I mean, I wouldn't be putting myself on here and defending a person if I didn't think that they were not set up simple I, mean, I wouldn't put my name here and I do believe this boy has been set up but anyway, enough of that, that's for another time the SNP headquarters, the full bone got raided for corruption, taking back handers. Right, we've got the first minister who is Brownlaw has been allegedly charged for drug dealing in Dundee for heroin. Right. So there's Mike Marson, right? Peter Murrow. Who else? That Yusuf, the Justice Minister, well, First Minister now, right? And the whole of the SNP. Now that's the full people. Now there, you've got to remember, Yusuf used to be the Justice Minister. You know what I mean? The First Minister, then the uh, Justice Minister, then the First Minister. So, he would have dealt with Luke's appeals and stuff like that, right? How can we trust these people when they're getting arrested for all these nasty crimes? Where the taxpayers of Scotland are paying their taxes to trust their government, to look after them, to do this, to do that, and all along they're fucking ripping the arse at them. And simple. Simple. The brothers of drug dealer, fact. Okay? Fact. Supplying the full of Scotland, ruining people's lives, killing people, all up in the fucking country, 
But yet, you still walk the streets. You know what I mean? One rule for one and one rule for another. Half the time you see him, he's up his bum. He is up his nut. But as I say, Falkirk Police Station. Why are you bring him to Falkirk Police Station when he is situated in current talk? You know what I mean? I don't understand that at all. He should have been went. Should have went to his local police station. Why bring it with Falker? In? I didn't get that. But it just shows you how sneaky the police are. They take him out his own. His own. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Is that, is, that, is that allowed? Can they take him out of that district and bring him into enough? Because the crimes happened in Embra or wherever their, their things are. So why is he coming to Falker? You know what I mean? And I know Falkirk Police Station are corrupt. I know Falkirk Police Station is corrupt 100%. I've dealt with them if I was a 9-year-old. See Mr. Lynn, I've dealt with them if I was a 9-year-old right up until 2010, 2011. And the things that they have charged me with, I've never even done. The things that the DC Dawson, who is the, the leading uh, inspector in the Drug Enforcement Agency now, he used to work at Randfield Police Station. Um, he was corrupt. He used to give ex-users uh, ex users used to give drug users um tenor bags and stuff like that to give information on certain crime families within Fourth Valley. You know what I mean? And um he would let them out. And that's a true fact and there's people who want to come on and say that and that they got offered a deal by policemen and Stirling Police Station for information on local drug dealers. And and that is a fact. And, 100% fact. No bullshit, no fuck all. And everything I say, I can back it. And you don't see people coming on here and saying I'm talking shit. And it's because I back it. And, um, but I just can't believe what's going on in Scotland just now. You know what I mean? It is a fucking joke. And uh, pardon for my language, eh? But it is, it's just a joke. When is people going to wake up and realise they're getting scammed with the Iranian government? You know what I mean? Scammed with the Iranian government. You've got to look, just look into the past 10 years of Scottish government. Go to Google and Google in the SNP, Labour, Conservative, the lot of them. Google them and see what they're all up to. And it's crazy, it's crazy. The corruption is bonkers and it's only going to get worse, believe me. It's only going to get worse. And People think that things are happening and it's getting sorted out. No, it's not. It's getting worse. It is getting worse. You've got people coming over here, 50 people in a boat at a time. They're all men, no women, no child, men. Why they come here? Why they come here? I don't understand that whatsoever. We've got five hotels in Falkirk that I've just found out about that have actually taken on illegal immigrants, so I will be going and documenting that. Um, and I'm very surprised at the people who actually own the hotels, you know what I mean, for allowing this to happen because they've actually kicked out homeless people to house these people, you know what I mean? Because the, the, the hotel was for homeless residents and now they've been moved out and, as I say, he's took uh, the money for the contract to allow them to stay at his hotel and a couple of these hotels. So, I will be confronting them with that very shortly. I'm raging, raging. Um, as I say, it's time to get the ball rolling with the channel and exposing corruption. Same with charities, all that. I'm not having it anywhere. I'm not having it anywhere. It's kept silent and I'm not doing it. And it's pissing me off every day of the week. And so as I say, folks, stay safe, stay blessed. Gloves up and we'll keep fighting on. Okay? Thanks for tuning in. Please like, share, subscribe and share, share them away as far as wide. And we will get there. And as I say, when I'm on my lives, I'm going to open, open up a link and we can have a wee kind of debate or just a discussion. You know what I mean? Let's take the channel further, eh? Okay, stay safe and stay blessed.